Coming up, I'm gonna be talking you through my five fave nude lipsticks, so keep watching to find out what they are. to All About Aoife. So today I'm going to talk you through my top five fave nude lipsticks. I don't know why I just did 10 there. My top five, yes. Yeah, so nude lipsticks are kind of an essential for your makeup bag. Well, definitely for me, you know, I wear nude lipstick every day. So it's nice to have a variety in my makeup bag and have some different kind of styles of lipstick and different shades of nudes as well. You know, I do wear kind of bright colors, but not too often. I just kind of wear a bright lipstick if I'm feeling a bit funky or a bit summery, or maybe I'm wearing something that I want to kind of match up my outfit with my lipstick. So they're the kind of only times I'd really wear kind of bright colours or maybe deep shades during kind of autumn, winter to change it up a little bit. But everyday wear, yeah, definitely kind of nude lipsticks. So I wanted to talk you through my top five favourite nude lipsticks because... I just did. So here we go. So to start off with, I'm going to talk you through my first favourite, which I actually had to run to the shop to get a new one today because I use this lipstick so, so much. It's literally my everyday lipstick. I'm actually wearing it at the moment. So I went back to get a new one of these because my old one was literally like tiny, tiny. So I wanted to show you guys a fresh one and also because I needed a fresh one. This one is always in my handbag all the time and it is cream sheen lipstick. So it has a nice bit of moisturizer in it. It's a little bit kind of almost glossy on the lips. It has a tiny bit of a shimmery look when you when you do a little swatch on your hand. And I, yeah, I love the way it is moisturizing, which is great for every day. Sometimes the matte lipsticks, the nude ones, they look great, but they can be very drying on the lips. So they're not really suitable for everyday wear. So this one I have literally been using for years and years now. I don't know where I came across it, but I just fell in love with this lipstick and I haven't really looked back and I get really sad when I have it out of stock. But yeah, I went over today and she actually had to run up to the stock room to get me one and I got it eventually. So this is a cream sheen lipstick from MAC in the colour Modesty. So it is absolutely beautiful. As you can see, it's a nice nudie shade. It does have kind of a, a little bit of, you know, it's a little bit of a deep tone. It's not too bright as regards a nude shade, but I just think it's really nice and it works for everyday makeup look. And I literally cannot live without this little guy. A color they have similar to this, which I got when they didn't have this one in stock before, was Faux by MAC. So if you can't get your hands on this, Faux is very similar. That's what I love about MAC. They really have a really, really wide range of nude lipsticks. So so if you can't get the one you're looking for, they usually have one very similar in the shade or maybe like a matte version or a cream sheen version or, a, you know, a moisturizing version of it. This one is my fave nude lipstick of all time. Can't live without this, as I said. So yeah, this is definitely an essential in my makeup bag and I just dropped it. No, I didn't. It's fine. And so yeah, this is an essential for me. So another MAC product that I wanted to show you and another one of my fave nude lipsticks is this one here. It's very similar to the color I just showed you, but it is a tiny, tiny bit deeper and it is more of a matte shade as well. So this one for me would be a night out kind of lipstick. I don't know why I keep it for a night out. I just kind of feel like it's a little bit more um, for a night out. It's Viva Glam 2 by MAC. And it was actually my friend Laura who introduced me to this lipstick. I don't know if you've seen her in my new vlog, my first travel vlog, my Manchester vlog. Check that out if you haven't seen it already. Laura was in that, she's my best friend. And she was wearing this one night and I said, oh my God, what is that lipstick you have on? I fell in love with it. It's similar to the one I always wear, so that's probably why I loved it so much. And it is, yeah, it's a bit of a deeper shade and it's more matte as well, which is really nice. And I don't know, the red as well, it's just nice to have in your makeup bag because usually all the MACs are just kind of plain and normal. And it's nice to have a little, uh, yeah, Viva Glam one. I feel like, yeah, this is very glammy. So I suppose that's maybe why I would wear it for a night out. And yeah, it's looking so brand new, I love this. I actually picked this up today as well because I wanted to show you guys a nice fresh one. So yeah, this is another fave of mine. So thanks Laura for showing me this lipstick. 
it's again another one from MAC and it is a little bit more matte than the one I just showed you I suppose that's why I like it more for nighttime because you know if you're eating and drinking and going out and things like that you want something that's going to stay and last on your lips all night long this one here probably wouldn't last as long as this because this has a bit more of a mat mattifying effect in it which I like so yeah another MAC product again this one is MAC but this is another fave of mine this is more of a cheaper brand it's from the Catrice Cosmetics and I absolutely love the Catrice Cosmetics. I love their nail varnishes and especially their lipsticks. Sometimes with the cheaper cosmetics when you do a little swatch on your hand, you kind of notice that, you know, it's not really very pigmented. It's kind of wishy-washy on your hands. But the Catrice lipsticks are definitely not like that. They're really pigmented, they last all night long and yeah, this is another favourite of mine. This is a deeper shade now than the two I've just showed you. But the reason that I love this lipstick is because it makes your teeth look really, really white. So like, people have said it to me when I'm wearing this, like, have you whitened your teeth? And I try not to whiten my teeth to damage them. So I hadn't been whitening my teeth and it was just this lipstick that made my teeth look whiter maybe than the day before they had seen me. And yeah, this is an absolutely fab lipstick, again cheap. I don't know how much it is, maybe like six, seven euro, if even for one of these lipsticks. And it has lasted me for ages now. I think this is my second investment. I think I might have lost one on a night out. But um, yeah, this is my second of these and it's lasted me a very long time. This is one I'd wear every day because it is a little bit of a deeper shade, but I have worn it out during the daytime before. Um, maybe when I couldn't find my other lipstick that I like to wear every day. But yeah, this is a nice deeper shade. And if you can get a lipstick that makes your teeth look whiter, then I mean, you can't really go wrong. Maybe a top tip when trying out your lipstick swatches on your hand is kind of put it up near your mouth, do a little smile, and if it makes your teeth blink, then you know it's a good lippy. So this is in the color maroon, it actually says, which don't be scared by that because it isn't a maroon lipstick. It's a 020 Ultimate Color in Maroon by Catrice Cosmetics. Definitely a favorite of mine, one that I will always go for. And if this, if I can't get this one, then I'll definitely be looking for something very similar because it's just really nice, makes your teeth look white, so fabulous. Next up in my five fave nude lipsticks is this one here by Charlotte Tilbury. I like Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I got this one as a set um, a couple of Christmases ago. I got a duo of the two lipsticks. I haven't used it that often, I'm not gonna lie, but I think it's because I always forget about it because I have my Cream Sheen Modesty by MAC always in my bag and I kind of forget to look for my other nude lipsticks. So this just sits pretty in its little holder and I sometimes forget about it, but it, it's in the color uh, Nude Kate. So you can tell it's a nude lipstick before you even look at it. And it is quite a light shade now, I must say a lot lighter than the others that I've showed you. So I suppose this is kind of like, yeah, you could do this for an everyday, a no makeup makeup look. You know, I suppose it works for a lighter skin maybe. If you have darker skin, maybe it might look like foundation lips on you, so maybe don't go for something like this. But I think it's, it's nice and it's a nice change from the deeper shades that I would normally wear. That's it there, yeah, so something a little bit different for me and it's always nice to have a pretty Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. Love the packaging. Even just to look at it, it's so pretty. So yeah, this is an essential, another one that I would always have around and it's nice to have something a little bit different than the ones I would wear every day and a little bit lighter as well. So that's another one of my Fab Five fave nude lipsticks. And the last but not least is something I purchased really recently and I used it in my St. Patrick's Day makeup tutorial so make sure to check that out if you haven't already. And it is an NYX soft lip creme and it is matte. So this is my first investment in a matte nude lipstick and I have to say I really really love it. I have some other kind of mattifying lipsticks but I haven't got a nude one and this is my first nude one and I've been hearing about the NYX products and they're supposed to be really good and so I thought I'd give it a go. I think this was like seven or eight euro so it's not gonna break the bank if you don't like it or the shade doesn't suit you or whatever. So it's a soft matte lip cream in the color Stockholm and it is really nice. And you know why I kind of picked this up? Because it's very reminiscent of the shade that the Kardashians kind of made famous which is the Velvet Teddy one from MAC or um, what's the one that Kylie always used to wear? I don't know, similar to the one that Kylie used to wear as well. And it does kind of remind me of the Kylie Cosmetics, one of her lip kits as well, because obviously it's a matte 
and it has like a lip gloss applicator as well and yeah I like this I wore it recently it's bright again it's brighter than the other ones that I would wear every day and it's just something a little bit different you know I'm not gonna wear this every day because matte can kind of dry out your lips a little bit but it's nice for a change I wore it in my Manchester vlog so you can see me wearing it there and yeah just another nice addition to my nude lipstick collection and I suppose a top tip for nude lipsticks and when you're applying lipstick always no matter what the shade is is to get a lip liner get a really good lip liner and you won't really have a problem applying your lipstick perfectly and I suppose for me nude lipsticks I would have a, a whole range of lip liners to match up with those lipsticks that I've just shown you and just kind of go for different shades and then kind of go for a shade darker than the lipstick that you're using and then you'll have a perfect lip look and for me I don't go crazy and buy expensive lip liners I have a couple from Essence which is quite cheap and then I have a couple from MAC as well which are good and like Kiko and things like that. Lip liners seem to last for absolutely ages and they can get lost really easily. So it's not really a good thing to always go buying the most expensive ones because I know for me, they slip out of your clutch bag, your handbag or things like that. So that's why I have a lot of kind of cheap ones on standby and some of my handbags so that I always have a lip liner handy for applying my nude lipstick. And yeah, I think that's it for me guys. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this vlog and product review today. It's always important to remember, you don't have to go for the most expensive lipsticks to get the best lipsticks. As I showed you, I have some from Catrice, which is probably the lower end of the range. And then I have some Charlotte Tilbury, which is the higher end. And I've got In Between, which is MAC. They all really work for me. They all last a long time. And yeah, that's it. So don't always go for the most expensive, guys. Cheap is always good as well. So if you guys have enjoyed watching this product review and vlog today of my five fave nude lipsticks, not ten, five then make sure to subscribe, like and comment. Don't forget to check out my other videos and thanks for watching all of Adifa. I'll see you soon.